I can't not laugh at that music when I hear it. That classic Home Alone music that everybody remembers from the movie. That stuff right there. What's going on everybody? Your host Lovely Cheese Pizza here and welcome to this thing. This game that I just realized its existence just a few days ago. And it's a very strange game. We'll get on that in a minute. So this is Home Alone for the Sega Master System, and this was their their 8-bit console at the time, and uh, didn't perform anywhere near as well as the NES did here in, in the United States, obviously. Kind of suffered the same fate that the TurboGrafx-16 did. Had a very you know limited library of games and very limited third-party support, and so just didn't do very well. But uh, so I was here with with my fiance a few days ago. We were uh, we were here watching my grandma. She needs kind of 24-hour care at this point, so it's usually either my mom watching her or it's myself. And so we were here, you know, playing some games on my laptop in the living room, and we were scrolling through my library, and we came across this, and I was like, I had no idea this even existed. So I spent about 10 or 15 minutes playing it. And it was a pretty bizarre experience. It's kind of like a mixture of the Super Nintendo game, the, the Game Boy game, and the NES game with a little bit of like Bonanza Brothers from the Genesis kind of mixed in with it. It's, it's a really strange game. So I've only gotten through the first two levels. After that, I have no idea. So I figured, why not give it a shot? Let's, uh, let's check this out. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> His face is so creepy. It's like he was stockpiling makeup from when he started doing party monsters many years later. And it's called the Family House. Not the McAllister House, it's just the Family House. So welcome to Home Alone for the Master System, everybody. Look at this walk cycle. And look at his fucking hair! He's got like this weird Donald Trump hair going on with these dead-ass beady eyes. It is scary as shit. And so the idea here, oh, by the way, I didn't know. I look at look at fucking Marv and Harry. They're both gingers. Like why? What the hell is going on with that? I also didn't know that he could jump down floors and when did they have a family dog? <laughs> I have so many questions about this. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. So basically the objective here is oh no 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 no. Ah. Ah. No, I'm not going to get there. No! Ugh. Come on! No! <laughs> oh, come on! You asshole! Oh, you gotta do that, you know, right on the button. So, basically the objective here is you need to collect the valuables in the house and then put them down the magic laundry chute, uh, kind of like you would have in the Super Nintendo and Game Boy game. And uh, it's kind of got that weird, you know, frontal layout like the NES title did. Um, I... When did they have a dog? It, it just that never happened. <laughs> I don't understand. I'm so I'm so perplexed by certain details here. And like look at the way that he look at the way he walks up and down stairs. It's fucking great. <laughs> it's so awkward. There's so many things about this game that are really weird. Oh man. But uh yeah, it's it's a it's a pretty bizarre experience. But look at all the look at the still frames in this game. Like, look how good that is. And the game's lying to us. So in in the game he's got red hair, but here he's got black hair. But yeah, dude, these these uh these still frame pictures are all really really good. Minus the weird party monster, you know, makeup on the face looking one. All the rest of them look fantastic. So yeah, basically it's it's a arcade style game. You go through the house and and you know try to get the valuables and deal with Harry and Marv at the same time, and then you just have to you know put them in the magic chute. And like sometimes the dog will just go fucking cr he'll go like insane and he'll start like assaulting everybody. Like if you if you have a valuable on yeah look at that he just knocked Harry down an entire floor of the house and he. <laughs> Just knocked him off too. That dog is a savage, but it's it's fantastic. Problem is though is that if you have if you have anything on you and he runs into you full speed like that, he'll knock it out of your hands and you have to go get it again. So it's it's kind of a it's it's a weird thing. It's a double-edged sword. Um, but the other thing too is that if if Harry or Marv grab the valuables and they leave the house before you can stop them, then uh, then you automatically lose the level. So you got to be really careful. So right here, this is where this is going to enter blind territory. I've only f I've only gotten through the first level, and uh, 
and then after that, and I tried to do the second one, but I died too much. So, at this point, this is all new territory. I, I don't really know what goes on from here. I'm gonna grab these bullets real quick so I can get them out of my way. Um, but yeah, part of the reason why I wanted to play this today is uh, the guy that the guy that played um, Kevin's uh, the guy that played the dad in Home Alone. Oh god, oh jeez, <laughs> that would kill a guy just about. Uh, but the guy that played the dad in Home Alone died uh, this week, uh, John Hurd, and I was really sad about that. But I had a really strange like Mandela effect sort of thing where I could have sworn and and I can only think of like two people that can corroborate this piece of information because I can't find it anywhere um, so I thought that back like 10 years ago that he got arrested for child molestation I could have sworn that I read that all over the place and that you know there's like mugshots and everything but upon trying to research that for this show I couldn't find anything on that and so, I don't know if I, like, fabricated that memory or not. I hope so, because that'd be a terrible thing to get arrested for. What the fuck is going on now? <laughs> what is... What is this? What happened to the McAllister home? Oh, I don't like any of this. Oh. Oh, my God. Dude, this is a fucking nightmare. Like, this is straight up... Oh, what, what the hell? Oh, he stole a- he stole a thing! Oh, damn it. Well, shit. Um, dude, that was creepy! That reminded me- whoa. Wow, both of their faces are a little, uh, a little creepy looking there. <laughs> that is a scary sight, I have to say. Um, dude, this house is fucking scary! Like, what happened here? Who who gave Kevin McAllister drugs so that he's seeing this nightmare escape? Look at the dog! <laughs> His head looks like an electrical... like an electrical plug. That is not okay. Oh, we gotta get it, we gotta get it. Aha! Oh, dude, this... this kinda reminds me... this kinda reminds me in part... Oh my god, we only have nine seconds. Where's the thing? Where's the thing at? There it is. Um, it reminds me kind of like the weird, like, funhouse level from Max Payne 2. There's like just weird mouths and stuff all over the place, and I don't know, it just, it had that kind of look. I have so many questions about, <laughs> about this. <laughs> oh boy, that went from 0 to 100 real fast. Like, this is exactly why you, you do not mix Quaaludes and Peyote and a number of other things. This is not okay. Like, why? Like, why? <laughs> like, what's going on with all this stuff? I got, like, this weird, like, evil auto from Berserk thing going on, also, that's that's relatively not okay either. And, like, these, these windows are all warped, and it's creepy. Okay, can we... There's a different way to get back up here? Oh! God! Okay, I did not expect that. <laughs> I didn't think that jumping on the phone was gonna, like, propel me up an entire floor. Again, though, look at this. Those those still frames look so good, considering the time, you know? And then, a very interesting thing, by the way. So they took him out of the funhouse, walked him, you know, conceivably across the street to the Murphy's house just to hang him on the door and, you know, ultimately get hit in the face by a shovel later. Like, why would they not just kill him right there, you know? Why are, why are they doing it the hard way? Nice. That is a really nifty way to, to move up floors, because trying to get up those stairs is a real pain in the ass. I can tell you that right away. Okay, here we go. Is the thing over here? It is not over here, but it is right here. Ha 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 ha! Cool. So, yeah, the, the whole the whole weird thing about John Hurd getting arrested, I don't know... I, and, like, I could have sworn that I, I, like, I remembered exactly where I was when I remembered that, too. Like, I was in college, and it was during the, uh, it was during the, the Obama election. It was, like, while the, they were tallying votes, and it was, like, right after Obama had secured the victory, and I was leaving, I was leaving, uh, class to go back home. Oh, it's a little bonus spot. That's certainly a lot less terrifying than, whoa. That's certainly a lot less terrifying than the weird hellscape we were just in. Jeez. Um, but yeah, I was I was at college and I was getting ready to go home from school, and I remember like as I was walking through the parking lot, um, I I got this thing on my phone that you know it was from like one of the news things that I follow that said he got arrested for child molestation. And I was like, oh man, that's really fucking disappointing. Like I really liked his character. 
but you know going back and trying to find information on that can't find it anywhere uh, so either it did happen and that got totally scrubbed from the internet which I find that impossible to believe or it never happened <laughs> so you know oh no not back to the fun house again no I don't want to go to the fun house again oh god I just this it this this is such a like a nightmare inducing thing to look at oh damn it well you really got to be bold about that like why is why is this house just so open? Like what what is going on with all of these levels that allow you just to jump down the floor without shattering his tiny little kid ankles? And that is a weird thing. Another thing too in in regards to Home Alone, um, I so another uh, another interesting thing that that happened recently. Oh boy, is um so everybody kind of knows that once uh, once Macaulay Culkin kind of went and did, you know, movies like Party Monster, he went off the fucking deep end. I mean, he went totally berserk and, you know, really got into, like, drugs and alcohol and he's, he just, he looked absolutely terrible. I mean, I, I hate to, I hate to say it that way, but he looked absolutely disgusting. Um, but I mean, you know, drug and alcohol abuse will do that to you. He looks so, like, emaciated in the face and he just looks so mealy. But they released a picture of him a few days ago, and he looks a hundred percent different. He looks great now, and oh, it makes me so happy. Like he's gained some weight. He looks clean now, and so he doesn't have like just those sunken in eyes like he used to have. And he looks he looks healthy. And that was what, greenhouse. I don't know, be interesting. And it, it made me so happy to see that because for such a long time I wanted him to you know to be able to you know, recover and, and get back on track, and it seems like he's finally done that. Like, he's been able to get clean and, and you know, get some some peace in his life, and that's fucking awesome. Oh, God. By the way, this greenhouse? What the hell's going on with this? <laughs> this is a particularly interesting thing. There is nothing to propel me up the way besides this. Okay, we need to get, we need to, we need to move. We need to move. Whoa! Come on, come on. Where's the, where's the thing? There it is. Dude, those little bouncy things are such a godsend. That is great. <laughs> I'm digging it. But again, what is up with this greenhouse? Like, what part of the game was this? <laughs> or what part of the movie was this? I don't remember the McAllisters having a giant, like, ornate greenhouse on their property anywhere. <laughs> I love I love the, the police officer in that. He's, like, looking at Marv like... I mean, when I came to arrest you initially, did you not have red hair? What, did you just throw, like, a pack of dye in there? <laughs> like, in the meantime, I, I, I don't understand. You, do not, you, you fit the description because you were here, but you also don't fit the description at all. So, of the, of the, of the perpetrator. Okay, so that's where the, the shoot is. How are we gonna get back up there? We have to hurry. We really have to hurry. Like, why ever- Wah! Oh okay. god. Why ever use the stairs at this point? Yeah, when you can just use this. Go. No. No, damn it. Ugh. That is the big thing about this game. Those stairs are like a pixel perfect thing. They are such a piece of shit to use. I hate it. Come on. What are we going to do with them, Mario? I thought it was, what are we going to do with them, Harry? I think they got that quote backwards. Oh, well. What are you going to do? Okay. We got, a, we got a couple more minutes here. This, <laughs> his walk cycle, he walks so fast considering how few steps he's taking. Like, look at him, he's just like gliding across that floor. He just, he is like a god. Okay, we need to get, we need to get the bullets here. Okay, we got that. Oh, don't you dare, you fucker. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna get you now. Um, where is he? Where did he, where did he, where did he put the thing? Oh, damn it, we're not gonna be able to get it. So that's, that's, uh, that's another thing. They, this, the later this game goes on, they really don't give you a lot of time for anything. Jeez. You gotta, like, you basically spend your first life trying to figure out where everything is. And then after that, it's just, you know, like a frantic race to the finish. Okay, whoa, chill, chill out there, Fauntleroy, my god. Okay, so we got that one. Where's the ring at? It's right down here. Okay, let's go up the stairs. Let's go up, nope, go up the stairs. Thank you. 
I love that he can jump up the stairs, but his walking is so fucking slow. Like, there's so many, like, movements about- Look at his face! Look at Marv's face! <laughs> oh my god! That was terrifying! His jaw came, like, unhinged, and it was just like... You know, it was like- it was like protruding outward. It was- oh, that was creepy! <laughs> yeah, look at the cop, he's just like, who the fuck is this guy? He just- he looked like somebody completely different a minute ago. Ah, <sighs> Greenhouse 3. Wow, nice, nice crazy fountain there. It's like a, it's like a wishing fountain. What the hell is... Oh, can we kill people with this now? I don't know how to use it, though. That's, that's the problem. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna try to get the things. Um, where's the other stuff at? There we go. There's another one. Okay, we need to hurry. I don't know where the, I don't know where the drop zone is. Where the hell is it? Oh, hey, there it is. Nice. Boy, that was a kind of a shot in the dark. But we got it. <laughs> he's probably giving him that look. He's like, why do you guys keep going back in here? Like, I'm putting you in the car, and you guys are just getting out of the car and going back inside. <laughs> like, when are you guys going to figure it out? The powerhouse? Oh, really? So that the McAllister family actually had their own... They had their own nuclear powerhouse. Well, that's fantastic. That somehow their they're bouncing jewelry, you know, escaped into. How interesting. I mean, this this would be an interesting concept for a movie. Like, the, I have I have questions. I have things that need to be answered about this. Like, why? <laughs> the, the the concepts for these levels are are very intriguing to say the very least. Where is the thing? Here it is. Is that it? There we go. Okay, we got it. I wonder how many levels are in this game. I never actually took, you know, took the liberty of finding out how many levels were in this game. I, I'm kind of interested. So, when you beat the game, I wonder if that means that, you know, Kevin's mom comes home, or if it, it just, you know, has him being like, you win! You know, a very classic, just kind of bullshit thing. Because it seems like as, as much as, you know, they're staying fairly, you know, they're staying fairly faithful to the source material in certain aspects. <laughs> You know, obviously Harry and Marv and Kevin all look, you know, like they should, at least in the still frames, not in the actual game stuff, but these levels are 100% <laughs> like off the, uh, you know, not even close. Okay, here we go. So we can only carry a certain amount of stuff at a time, huh? Interesting. So they, they did kind of follow the, the Super Nintendo and Game Boy idea with that, where you do have a maximum amount of things that you can have on your person at any given time. Is there anything else? Anything else? Aha! Okay. Well, I'm glad I got that. Cool. But yeah, I, I, the, the one thing that really caught my eye when I when I first played this game was when I beat that first level and I saw this, I was like, wow, that's a really, really well done picture. Other than that, though, it's uh, just there are certain things in the game, like the, the graphics certainly aren't bad by any stretch. There's just like certain things that the character models do, and just the idea that they have a dog that's running around, <laughs> and Harry and Marv have red hair in the game, but they don't at any other time. Like, why did they change their hair color? Like, what was what was to be gained by that? <laughs> so I'm so perplexed by that by that piece of information alone. Is there any other? Okay, so we have three now, so we've we've got to hurry and get up the get up the stairs. Where's the drop zone? I don't know where the drop zone is. Oh sh shit! The dog, the dog went berserk. Go go go! Oh, they're giving us a lot of time for this. Okay. I was kind of okay. Well, if they're gonna give us a whole bunch of time, why can't why couldn't they do that for all the other levels? Okay, here we go. Now now we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be okay. That is a giant thing. How do I how do I trigger those traps? I'm not I'm not really sure how that that's how you do it. Okay. All right. I really wish I would have known that a minute ago. Oh, here we go. I don't know if I don't know. He doesn't have anything. Question is, is did he have anything? No, he didn't. Okay. So we just need to go back over here. I think I've got the last piece of, uh, of valuable here. The dog phased into the wall. He has gone into the wall. <laughs> what happened? 
I didn't get them all. Crap. What am I missing? What other piece was I missing? Shit. Okay. What is... Oh my god. The game has corrupted. The dog and I... The dog... <laughs> he's, he's fixed. <laughs> he's gotten stuck. <laughs> what is happening? Even the clock isn't working anymore. Oh no. Oh, I think I have broken the game. I, I think... Uh, I think the game has, has exploded. Oh, you can go inside of doors. That's interesting. That's a little measure of escaping him. I'm pretty sure the game is broken. <laughs> this is... Yeah. Yeah, I think the game's broken. Well, holy shit. I mean, I guess, you know, I, I, I need to kind of get ready for work. I do have a job that I need to go to, and I have approximately 25 minutes to get there. So, my friends, I guess we're going to stop right here because the game just decided to explode on itself. So, <laughs> with that said, thank you guys for stopping by and watching this uh, interesting Home Alone experience. Look at Kevin's face and tell me that's not one of the scariest things you've ever seen. <laughs> that is that is nightmare fuel at its, at its finest. Oh my god, he, he looks like the dead mouse guy. Without the, without the ears on. So, anywho, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for stopping by and watching, and uh, I will catch you guys in the next thing. So you guys take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Have a good one.